Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Do you listen to me right now? Say yes or not. Hi. Hola, hola. ¿Me escuchan por ahí? Yes. Oh, perfect. Hi, Jenny. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, guys. Welcome you all to our English class. It's a great opportunity to start this day. Nice, Veronica. Thank you so much for turning on your cameras. And we are ready to start classes this day. So welcome you all. This is a great day. I'm a little, a little hot because I was like, outside and the weather is like not so friendly <laughs> it was like uh, the rains that uh, were like good because we had a good cool environment but these days like you know what necesitamos ahí aire acondicionado porque está haciendo calor pero bien un gusto saludarles a todos it's a pleasure to be here with you guys we are actually five students we hope that the rest of our students can join us and also can um join us in this process of learning English because every day we had to learn something new. Um, it's something that I always say. In this class, no nos podemos ir sin haber aprendido algo, que es una palabra, una pronunciación, alguna estructura, something that you need to know in this process. So for that reason, we are going to like start with this day and also learn a lot. And welcome you all. Let's see, there are um, some other students joining us here in the class. And also, thank you so much because you have the microphone on. And also, you have the cameras on. And that's cool. That's what I love. Okay, I'm just going to give um, a general information. Solo quiero compartirles algo y los, los voy a recordar posteriormente. Dice que eh, hacerles el pequeño recordatorio, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que completar las, las tareas de lo que es la primera y la segunda parte, la sección 1 y la sección 2, ¿verdad? Cada una lo mínimo un 80% de carácter obligatorio, es decir, que tienen que hacerlos eh, porque los vamos a verificar. Entonces, a las 9, ¿verdad? El día de mañana, a las 9 de la mañana se realizará la actualización. Entonces, tiene que estar su información. Eso sí es muy importante, que ustedes puedan realizar los avances. También pueden realizar los avances de las, de las siguientes, si ustedes quieren, para ir ganando tiempo e ir practicando también. Eso es importante. Y dos, algo también muy importante es que usted practique, aproveche este tiempo en esta clase. Que usted está aquí no solo por conectarse, me voy a conectar y I'm going to be connected here. no. I want you to practice. I mean, if you're here, you are here because you need to practice, because you need to participate actively in the class. This is one of the goals we have, uh, that we have the opportunity to like learn, also the opportunity to practice, the opportunity to study. And we learn from simple things. I just remember that I need to learn. And for that, every day we have to get this, uh, this opportunity. One of the advantages about studying English, and I can tell you with property because I have the experience in this process, una de las de las ventajas y es que cada día se estudia inglés. Uno de los errores, y yo se los digo por experiencia, es que muchas personas estudian inglés y no es que esté mal. It's not bad. It's actually it's not bad. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Jenny. Welcome. Um, one of the mistakes that people study, for example, weekends. Estudiamos inglés weekends. Y paso lunes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they don't study English. And that is a problem. It, ya que el inglés no se va a aprender solo porque lo recibió el día lunes o el día martes. Entonces, el inglés tenemos que estudiarlo todos los días, every day. This is like Spanish. How many hours do we, do we speak Spanish? Every time. We speak Spanish all the time. So that's the same case with English. We need to practice English all the time. This is my recommendation for all of you guys to learn. Estoy seguro que cuando usted todos los días practica, el inglés va a ser mucho más significativo, va a ser más entendible y va a aprender muchas cosas. And I can tell you one secret. The listening is very valuable. Yo recuerdo que yo escuchaba una palabra, escuchaba a alguien hablar inglés y no entendía. 
Pero a medida que tú lo escuchas, you listen, listen, listen every day, escuchas inglés, aunque no lo comprendas todo, pero identificarás muchas palabras. And that can help you. And this is one of the ways that we can actually maximize our skills. Okay. So for that reason, it's very, very necessary to work with that one. So how to use prepositions of time? Vamos a estudiar un poquito hoy sobre el uso de las prepositions of time. And for that reason, we will talk about that. We always have the general objective that is to talk about people's work and their functions in the workplace. Entonces, vamos a hablar acerca de el trabajo de las personas y sus funciones, como de manera general. I will be able to tell different people the specific time. Vamos a ver, quiero que alguien más lo diga. No lo quiero decir. Yo vamos a pedir a Jenny. We will request a Jenny to read the goals for this class. Thank you, Jenny, by the way. Okay. Okay, teacher. I okay. will be able to tell different people the specific time and days of activities I do in my workplace. Thank you so much and good pronunciation. I like it. That's awesome. Miren, ustedes aquí no tengan pena de hablar inglés. Que alguien me diga, teacher, mire, es que yo me da pena de hablar inglés. Es que por eso estamos aquí. Entonces, usted tiene que hablar. No importa si nos, nos equivocamos, pero la práctica hace al maestro. Así que un consejo que lo tengo en general. Okay, so that's what we had to do. We will be able to talk about different time and dates of activities that I do. So what time do I do something? And we are going to use prepositions. So let's start with the first activity. Vamos a ver. For this one, we have a challenge. Look at this one. It says, uh, what about activity? Ask three classmates about their schedules, activities, specifying time of day. For example, I will interview Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Okay, Veronica, tell me. Vamos a ver, voy a entrevistar a Veronica. Veronica, eh, ¿qué actividades tiene su trabajo? What activities do you have in your job? My job is... Una de las cosas que usted hace en su trabajo. Algo que usted hace. Mm. Something you do in your job. Mm. Eh. Amo prendas. Eh, es como organiza o usted las, las organiza. Las confe yo las confecciono. Entonces. Yo confecciono prendas. Ok. Usted confecciona prendas. Lo vamos a poner acá uh -huh. en el chat. Eh, vamos a decir, I, I, lo vamos a decir de esta manera. Uh -huh. I make clothes. That is the first one. I make clothes. That is the first thing you do. ¿Y qué, a qué horas hace eso? The time, the date, and the time. ¿A qué horas lo hace? At 7 a.m. Or from 7 a.m. to... I time 7, 7 a.m. Um, finish um, 4... Um, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, usted dice, what activities? I make clothes from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Dígame otra actividad que usted hace. Another activity you do. Mm. Yes. I make. O también, ¿a qué horas almuerza? Si almuerzo o desayuno, también es otra actividad. Comer, eat is another activity too. Because I think that, that you make clothes, you do it every day. So, ¿a qué horas, you know, tienes su lunch? For example, I have my lunch at. What time? Yes. Let's say at 12, um, at 12 p.m. Okay, ya tenemos una actividad. Vamos a ver. I will request somebody else. Uh, Giovanni Mauricio, I don't know if you're there. Uh, Giovanni, hello. 
Um, the microphone is off. Can you help me to turn it on? Giovanni Mauricio? Hello, hello, good evening. Hey, hello, good evening. Okay, so I have a question and we're gonna, I will say Mauricio. Look at the chat. Yeah. Mauricio, can you tell me what activities do you do in your job? What activities do you perform in your job? I, um, my activities uh, every day is uh, coordinador logístico. I don't speak, I don't say in English, coordinador logístico. Como más Logistic específico, coordinate. como un poquito más específico. Yo coordino, por ejemplo, sería yo coordino. I have, uh, I import, export, and uh, tracking in the ocean, uh, naviera. Soy el encargado de coordinar este exportaciones, importaciones, transporte terrestre. I don't say. Eh, usted dice que soy, soy encargado de coordinar las importaciones y exportaciones. Ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿De qué? De, ¿De qué sería? ¿De productos o de...? Diferentes productos, diferentes clientes. No hay algo específico. Eh, telas... Eh... Okay, let's Okay, it's okay. Just one example. So I can say that I'm in charge. And we're gonna write it here in the chat. I'm in charge of coordinating imports and exports. Exports of different uh, products. Yeah. Bien, vamos a verificar acá. I'm in charge of coordinating imports and exports of different products. ¿Qué, what time? ¿Qué, ¿Qué horas haces eso? What time do you do that? Uh, 7 a.m. and close in the office at uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6. 6 p.m. But if the work in the in my house and cell phone the corporator is the work uh, my work every day is 24 7. oh 24 7 wow it's a very hard yeah. schedule very hard yeah. yeah i know muy bien entonces ustedes van a pensar en este momento en qué actividades realizan um, y ustedes les van a preguntar a un compañero qué actividad realiza y a la fecha, qué, qué, a qué tiempo. En este caso, from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. o 5 p.m. So you can talk about that. Entonces, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted piense qué actividad realiza. Puede poner dos o tres, si usted quiere. Y qué horas lo hace. What time do you do? For example, I could say that I eh, organize some documents and send them to uh, some employees. Entonces, una de las cosas que yo hago es organize some documents and send them to employees. Y eso pues lo hago en, at a.m. Y eso lo hago yo a las 8 de la mañana. So you can check here the examples. algunas ideas o por ejemplo usted dice bueno yo teacher I am, I am in charge of the personnel in the company Okay, and you do that. So I'm in charge of uh, of the employees of the company. 
it is at 11 a.m. at that time. I'm checking that they can uh, work properly, monitor that they are doing. I coordinate, I organize. Why do this one? Entonces, eso es lo que ustedes van a, a compartir. Vamos a ver. Eh, Catherine Elizabeth, hello. Hi, Catherine. Hi, coach. Eh, Catherine, tell me about the activities. What activities do you perform in your job? So right now I'm not working, but I pass in my house and in my house I I clean my house, my my bed. I clean my house. Um, I prepare my breakfast, my lunch. Um, I study English. I watch the videos in English. So you study by yourself. That's great. So and you say that you clean the house. What time do you clean your house? Um, 10 a.m. in the okay. morning. Oh, at 10 a.m. very early. Okay. And what time do you have your lunch? Uh, my uh, I prepare my lunch at um uh, uh eleven. Eleven a.m. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's see with Dalila Beatriz. Dalila, in uh, what activities do you perform in your job? I stay in, in the story from 9 a.m. to 12 o'clock. What time do you perform these activities? What time? Eh, no sé si se dice así inventario, inventario, ¿no? Uh, no sé si puede hablar un poquito más, más fuerte, creo que, no sé si. Le decía que nos es I take inventory from uh, night again. At uh, 12 o'clock. Okay, that's clear from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., right? Right. Yes, okay, that's that's great. Thank you so much. Okay, so in this moment, we're gonna work in a breakup room. We're gonna work in pairs because we need to advance in some other topics. Vamos a hacer en a briefly way, so you share with your partner, and we come back. Vamos a hacer un poquito acerca de las prepositions of time. It's going to be a review, un repaso de las prepositions. So we are actually 12. Okay, we're going to make 12 groups right away. So eh, iniciamos y tenemos five minutes to share with this. Let's go.
Yes. Sorry, teacher. I I don't can't uh, I can't uh, in the group. Oh. Okay, so I will send you with someone else. With uh, with someone else to practice. Okay. Uh, try now. I go to work. At night, at night, I do cash report. A las nueve y diez, hago reporte de, de caja. I am cashier. I in three, in the afternoon, at, in the afternoon, Afternoon, I answer phone call at two o'clock. A las dos de la tarde, hago contesto llamadas. Answer phone calls. Answer phone calls. Okay. Okay. Answer. Hi. No, Jenny. 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 Hola. Hi. Let's go, vamos. <laughs> Let's go. Ok. <laughs> bueno, eh, Piki, Piki dice teacher. <laughs> bueno. uh, my word is shortly short, being from a a Gracias por ayudarme. You're welcome. Okay, practice. I want to listen to you. Okay, tell me, Veronica. Veronica. Hola. Tell me your activities. Dime tus actividades. My, mute. my activities is is I make clothes and I don't think I'm not okay. I have a clone. Okay, uh, you finished? Eh, terminaron? Jenny? Uh, Mario, Jenny, are you there? Yes. 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 Okay, compartanme su información. Share your information, please. Uh, about me or about the Jenny? Both. Okay. 
uh, I uh, first first I uh, I I sales I am sales mm -hmm. uh, I am I visit restaurants and visit different uh, cities in in the country. I okay. work at uh, 8 a.m. at 5 p.m. Okay, great. And, well, Jenny, que diga el suyo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. I, my activity is prepare the food for the sale of the typical food in the, the 10 a.m. Um, p.m. Okay, thank you so much. And I think we, this is the time to go back to the main sessions. So after you have like practice a little bit about what you do, different activities. Thank you and let's go back. Okay, let's start talking about prepositions of time. Okay, do you remember this topic? ¿Se acuerdan de este tema? Do you remember this topic? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so it's going to be a review for you guys, but it's good always to remember. It's always have a, this one. Um, what is the function about that? Um, there are three prepositions in English that are used with time. With time, we use on, it, and at. Estas tres ocupan, son preposiciones exclusivas que se ocupan para el tiempo. Bueno, se ocupan, hay varias, pero se ocupan, eh, esta es muy común. So, preposition of time, right? Nos hablan acerca de tiempo preciso, meses, años, siglos, etc. So, vamos a iniciar con el primero. On. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar on? When are we going to use on? That is the first question. We will use on, especially during days of the week. Anótenlo ahí si pueden. Days of the week, we use on exclusivamente. Yo quiero decir el lunes. ¿Cómo digo el lunes en English? On Monday. How can I say el jueves? On Thursday. On Thursday. Thursday. How can I say, how can I say el viernes? On Friday. On Friday. On Friday. How, how can I say in English el sábado? On Saturday. On Saturday. Exactly. So when we're talking about days of the week, we are going to use on. No vamos a utilizar the. Uh, okay, the, the Friday, the Monday. Wow, no, okay. no, no, never, never. Vamos a referirnos a on para los días de la semana. Days of the week. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday. Acuérdense que la pronunciación de martes es Tuesday, to, Tuesday. Y de miércoles es Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Jueves es con TH como R. Th, Thursday. 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 Th, Thursday. That's the pronunciation about that. Y también lo ocupamos cuando nos referimos a los días, days, más una fecha. Es decir, cuando nos referimos a un mes, más una fecha. Por ejemplo, on January 23rd. Eh, on April 4th, por ejemplo, me preguntan, uh, when is your birthday, teacher William? My birthday is on April 4th. My birthday is on June 16th. On March 17th. 
on December 24, on October 15. Entonces, vamos a utilizar on cuando nos vayamos a referir a una fecha que lleve ya sea el día, el mes y un número. Por eso dice el ejemplo, on Monday, February 5th, como la fecha de ahora. ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Today is Friday, Friday, July 8th. Exactly. Friday, July 8th. Entonces, yo digo on Friday, July 8th. On. Para referirnos a A, el, el sábado, el lunes, en enero, el, el viernes. Entonces vamos a utilizar on. El viernes en la mañana on, o el, jue, el miércoles, on Wednesday morning. Entonces, eso es como lo más general. Luego tenemos el in. ¿Para qué usamos el in? In. Esto es sencillo. This is actually pretty easy, guys. We use in to talk about month individually. When we are talking about month, how can I say in English, um, in marzo? How can I say in marzo in English? In March. In March. In April. In March. In, in April. April. In April. In April. In April. 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 Yeah, it's like, it's more American. A, more April. Um, In, uh, vamos a ver, en, en mayo. In May. In May. In May. In May. En junio. En junio. In June. In June. En julio. En julio. En julio. En julio. En julio. En agosto. And I go in, in August. August. In September. In September. In September. Acuérdense, in September. Eh, en October. In October. October. Excellent. In October. In October. 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 In October. Yes, like the in accent. In November. In November. In November. In December. In, in, tiene que sonar in December. In, in December. In December. ¿Cuál es la in diferencia, December. cuál es la diferencia eh, entre ambos? De que en el anterior usábamos on porque va el mes y va un numerito, sí. pero en este caso, cuando solo va el mes, usted solo va a decir in, in May, in June, in July, in August. Esa es la diferencia de los dos. Porque usted ve que ahí dice on January, o sea, en, en enero, on January, entonces es en enero, on January 23rd, porque es 23rd, ya eh, está ahí, entonces vamos a utilizar on en vez de in. También para años, in 2018, 2018, en 2018. Vamos a ver, eh, para, para los años hay dos maneras. Hay manera de decir, eh, en vez de decir 2018, usted puede, puede señalar los dos primeros números y después los otros dos. Por ejemplo, 2018. In, the, in uh, 2018. O sea, 2018. 2018. Eh, para decir eh, 2019, ¿cómo sería? 2019. 2019, yes, 2019. 2019. Es de cómo decir 2019, pero en inglés se puede decir también para los años 2019. Uh, eh, a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Puede decir el año 2000? Eh, ahí usted dice 2000. Ahí se dice 2000. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, ajá, por lo general, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ya en, en, en del 2010 para allá, usted ya puede ir diciendo 2010, 2011, 2012, y también lo puede decir de la otra manera, 2008, por ejemplo, pero es mucho más práctico decir eh, 2018. Eh, Americans use it a lot. Eh, 2020, ¿cómo sería? 
2021. 2021. 2021, of course. 2022. 2030. 2030. 2030. El año 2036. 2036, right? El año 2040, 42, por ejemplo. 2042. 2040. Yes, 2042. That's right. So that is the way. So you can appreciate here the examples that eh, para los años, pues decíamos in. En el 2018, ah, in 2018. En el 2025, ah, in 2025. Eh, Entonces, ahí vemos, y para los May. También lo ocupamos para las estaciones, por ejemplo, en el verano, in the summer. Eh, en, en la primavera, in, in the spring. In the spring. In, por ejemplo, in the winter. Para las estaciones del año usamos in, in the, in the summer, in the winter, in the, in the autumn, in the, in the spring. So lo usamos eh, in. Esta es como la manera general. Luego veremos otros, otros ejemplos que serán mucho más prácticos. Y vamos con at. Vale, entonces vamos con at. El at is used for time. El at lo ocupamos ya más específico para horas. Oiga bien, listen carefully. For example, we say at 2.30. Para referirme a las 4, a las 4, a las 5. Eh, vamos a ver, ¿cómo digo en inglés? How can I say in English a las 10 de la mañana? Ok, you're right. You got it. At 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. A.m. Acuérdese que o'clock es para en punto. Cuando se dice en punto, usted dice o'clock. En este caso, pues, is 10 um, a 10. A las 5 de la tarde. ¿Cómo digo yo a las 5 de la tarde? 5 p.m. Tiene que sonar ese at. At five, at four. At five, at, at five, five p.m. PM. Yes, tiene que sonar el at, porque el, el at nos indica el tiempo. Nos indica una hora en específico. At four, at five, at six, at seven, at eight, at eleven, at twelve. Y luego tenemos el tiempo. At noon, al mediodía, at noon, at night, a la medianoche o a la, a la, en la noche. En la noche, at night. Y at midnight es en la medianoche. Entonces, vamos a decir que at, we use it for time. In, lo usamos para años y meses y estaciones de, del año, como primavera, otoño, verano. Y on, lo usamos para días de la semana, days of the week, y para días que tengan fechas. Yes? Easy? Easy. Easy. Excellent. That's what I love. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo un poquito más, más amplio. A little bit more or bigger in this case. Vamos a usar at for precise times. Aquí nos indica ya que el at es para un tiempo preciso. For precise times. At three o'clock. Eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a pedir a... Um, um, Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Are you there? Hi. Hi, Miguel. Can you help me? Can you help me to read this information, please? This one. Okay. Thank you. At first is time. At three o'clock. At 10, 30 a.m. At noon. At dinner time. At bedtime. 
at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. Thank you so much. Thank you, okay. thank you so much, Miguel. So we're talking about at for a precise time, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime. Cuando yo digo at bedtime, me estoy refiriendo que hay un tiempo ya definido. Es decir, ¿a qué horas? Ah, va a ser a la hora de dormir. At sunrise, al amanecer. Entonces, eh, ya es un tiempo definido. Entonces, usamos at for that reason. Okay, now we are going to uh, practice with uh, in. That is for months, years, centuries, and long periods. So, Evelyn, uh, Beatriz, can you help me to read this information, please? I might I summer in the summer in a in the field. Um, eight. 18? No, 19, 90s, 19, 90s. 20, 20. In eh, the next century? No, in this case, it's 1990s. 90s. Uh -huh. in, in the next century, in the ice, hey, no sé cómo es, in Age. the past future, in the past future. Okay, future, 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 future. yes, future. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with the next one. On. Para qué vamos a utilizar on para days and dates. So for this one, I will request to uh, Jenny. Help me, Jenny Sarai. Help me to read this information, please. Or Sunday, or Thursday, or sit March on twenty five December twenty ten, or Christmas Day, or Independence Day, or my birthday, or New Year's Eve. Eve, New Year's Eve. Thank you so much, right? That's okay. So you can check uh, the difference between that. Entonces, usted bien sabe que para estas fechas, on days and dates, we use on. And also you say on Sunday, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day. Usted no va a escuchar que digan in the Independence Day, sino que van a utilizar on. Porque va más enfocado en fechas. Entonces, en días. So on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. So you can see... Um, this information that is actually valuable. And do you have a question about this? Do you have a question or a doubt? Tienen alguna pregunta? No questions. Okay. Much better for me. That's okay. Look at these examples. And let's see. I need a volunteer for helping me. And who else is joining us? Um, Mario, help me to read the statements, please. All the statements? First, yes, all of them. Okay. I had a meeting at 9 p.m. The shop closed at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it ordered often is now in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? In the future? There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Do you work on Monday? Her birthday is on 20 November. November. Where will you be a New Year date? Thank you so much. You can appreciate here, guys, examples about at 9 a.m. at midnight, at lunch, eh, in December, you can see the rules. Pueden ver dentro de las oraciones que ya va aplicada las reglas. No solo es por ir poniendo ahí the preposition of time, 
Pero usted ya va viendo ahí las reglas. Por ejemplo, there should be a lot of progress in the next century. Usamos in. Luego tenemos on para el día de semana. On 20 November on New Year's Day. So we can see the examples and using the prepositions of time. So you know the rules and the differences between this one when we use it and when we work in the activities. Okay, look at this one. I'm sorry. Um, okay, complete the email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classmate. We have uh, Fatty2018 at email.com to marry uh, low dash two at email.com. New products presentation. Hello, Fatima, are you busy? On Monday afternoon, do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It is start 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you 6 on the corner of the First Avenue on and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation but it will be March, Sunday, and I can't that day. Les voy a dar un minutito para que ustedes puedan completar individualmente y elegir la mejor preposition of time. And after that, lo iremos completando juntos. All right? Recuerden también tener su cámara encendida porque es un requerimiento de Insafor y ustedes lo saben. So, Remember that this class has been recorded, so all of us, we have, we should have the cameras on because it's a commitment. Es un compromiso que ustedes adquirieron, especially to be here in these classes. So that's why it's very important and valuable. See you here in this um, videos and with the cameras on, okay? We can start and then we will socialize the answers together. Let's go. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. How can I help you? Uh, the exercise is. Hay que escribirlo en el chat o solamente poner las preposiciones. Well, it's it's not necessary to to write it in the chat, but you can do it if you want to. Um, it's recommendable to do it in your notebook or unless that you print it. Si ustedes, algunos imprimen el documento, pues si lo tienen en su cuaderno, pues lo pueden completar ahí. It's a practice. Yes. Okay, yes. I finished. Okay, perfect. So you finished. Okay, I think it's going to be the proper time for that. So let's, um, let's see the answers. And um, according to the rules, because it's important to like always respect the rules, we always have to do it. And we will socialize according to the rules. 
Let's go with the first one. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy? What will be the number one? Think about it. Um, so you say that the first one is on. Why is on? Give me the reason. Because it's a day. Because it's a date of the week, right? And also date of the week, we use the on for that reason. Do you know about the new products that the company launches? There is a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at, 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 at and why the answer is at? Why at? Give me a at reason. Six, it's an hour. It's an hour. It's because you are specifying time, hours. Okay, makes sense. At six. Six thirty. Okay. I work, okay, I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6. At, 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 okay. All right, so we check that. We compare the answers together. At 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be... In March, on Sunday. Okay, in or on? In, the in, first March. In. in March. In March, on Sunday. Aha, uh -huh. okay, in March. And the other one is on Sunday, exactly. Si este llevara una, un número, entonces tendría que ser on. Okay, so in March on Sunday. And I can't that day. So sad story. Anyway, we know how it is. And we know how it is, right? Okay. Questions about this activity? Uh, yes, I have, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, why use at in six thirds, but not use in five forty-five? Uh, because we're using until because we're not giving a time. It says it starts at six thirty. I work mm -hmm. period. So the sentence finish. I work until. Aquí no nos está indicando is is not giving us an specific time. It says that the, the activity finish at 5.45, so that's why we use until. Until es una preposición, y until significa hasta, entonces no necesito utilizar at. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Porque me indica, la, me indica la finalización de un tiempo, que en este caso sería hasta las 5. That's why we use until. Okay. Yes. Okay. You're you. welcome. You're welcome. That is a good question, by the way. It's good. It's good to ask. Okay, um, something else, something else. Okay, using the information from the exercise to write what some of the activities that you classmate have to do, specifying a uh, time update. And you connect your ideas. For example, podemos decir, quiero que escribamos en el chat algunas oraciones. I do this one at this time. I have my, my lunch at what? At 11 p.m. Ok, quiero que en este momento, acá en el chat, usted pueda compartirnos algunas, algunas actividades que ustedes realizan. Y en algún tiempo específico podemos utilizar at, on, or in. For example, I travel to Mexico. in October. Muy bien. Usemos el chat para ir compartiendo esta, esta información. Use the chat for that one. I have my lunch at 11 p.m. I travel to Mexico in October. I listen to music every day at 11 a.m. Okay, sounds great. Nice, May Maisie. A uh, Walter, I go to the school. Um, with my son at 7 uh, of my son my son's school at 7 a.m uh, ok 
Okay, uh, Jenny says, I go to the supermarket at 1 p.m. I wake up at 7 a.m. Nice, Mario. And I go to the school. Yeah, so we, we just like check that statement. School at, um, school, school. Like double A, double O, like this. Okay, any other statement? Escríbanos otra oración de lo que ustedes hacen. What else do you do? I will go to the university on Monday. Excellent, because we're using the preposition on. That's awesome. What else would you like to include? Yes, yes, yes. What else? My birthday is in January 26. En este caso, como lleva un número, tiene que ser on. On January, January 26. On. I drink coffee at 10 a.m. in my work. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, any other statement? I go to church on Sunday. Yes, this sentence is, is correct. Yes, great job. Uh, I have my breakfast at 8 a.m. That's okay. And uh, also, I love to drink uh, coffee in the morning. Oh, I love drinking um, coffee in the morning. Yes, it's okay. I work on Monday. Yes, that's a good statement too. Utilicemos in, utilicemos at, utilicemos on. So we used uh, the most common. My son board on um, on 28th October. Uh, para decir que nació, tendría que ser was born. Was born. On October, in, on October 28th. We go to the party at 10, at 10 p.m. Um, on Monday, 25th, I go to the university. So we have to say, oh, I will go to, uh, I will go to the university on Monday, 25th. Ahí como cambiar el, 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 el espacio. I will go to the university on Monday, 25th. I have, I have my lunch. Tiene que ser acá. I have my lunch. I have my lunch at 3 p.m. O oh, my lunch is, a menos que sea también, my lunch is at 3 p.m. Y le vamos a quitar la I que está por ahí o oh, no sé qué es. My lunch is at 3 p.m. So that is a good statement. I totally agree with that. Okay, and the last statement before we conclude this. The last statement before we conclude. Let's see here. We're gonna check that. Any other statement? Remember, this is actually a time to practice. So try to take advantage of our practice and it's very valuable, your participation in these statements. So now we can see the differences between both of them. So I hope that it's going to be very valuable. 
Okay, guys, um, any question before we conclude the class today? Any question or doubt before we conclude? No? It's everything clear? Or any comment that you would like to share? Not too sure. It's okay. All right. So I really appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, the instructions that we have said. Uh, my classes start at 7.45 a.m. Um, entonces, tal vez, no sería el 12 p.m., sino que usted puede decir, my classes start from, cuando usted menciona dos fechas, usted dice entonces, my classes start from, inician desde las from uh, okay 7:45 to 12 p.m. like this mi clases comienzan eh, de las 7:45 a las 12 entonces usamos el front pero si solo es una fecha my classes start una hora at 7:45 okay guys don't forget to complete these activities no se les olvide completar la sección 1 y 2 recuerden de que es eh, de carácter obligatorio que los, que los completemos eh, tenemos hasta el día de mañana a las 9 de la mañana para que ustedes puedan eh, completar la sección 1 y sección 2, está, está muy corto ya hay varios que ahí me, me, me comentaron que ya las tenían hechas desde hace un par de días entonces pues felicidades por that because you took advantage about that, right? So thank you guys have a beautiful night to all of you and see you the next week Thank you, Thank you too. It's Thank you to share. Good night. Good night. You too. Bye bye. Everybody. Good night. Good night. You too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful night to all of you. God bless you too. God bless you too. Amen. Thank. Happy night.